In this video, I'll show you how to remove the shipping options from your WooCommerce checkout using three different methods. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so one of the options we're gonna use is our all-in-one checkout plugin. It's currently free and you can go ahead and download it. So you just head over to WooSuite.com, go ahead and download the all-in-one checkout plugin. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. And since we've just downloaded this plugin, we'll start with this method and then I'll show you a few others as well. Okay, so assuming you've downloaded the all-in-one checkout plugin, you just go ahead and upload that plugin. So you go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and activate that plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see an all-in-one checkout menu um, option somewhere here. If you're already a WeSuite customer, then it will be located under um, WeSuite and then all-in-one checkout. So AIO checkout for all-in-one checkout. So we'll click on this option here. Okay, and then you just go ahead and create a new checkout form. Since I've already created one, I'm going to go ahead and click on this option here so we can go ahead and edit it. So straight away, you can see a few fields. So we've got our billing fields, shipping fields, order summary and shipping method as well. So if we wanted to remove the shipping option, all we'd have to do is go ahead and click this um, eye icon and this will basically remove it from the checkout page. And then we've just got our billing details here. So the good thing about this method is you can actually go ahead and customize the different checkout fields to tailor the experience for your customers. So if you store selling digital products, then some of these details we might not need. So we just wanna keep everything as streamlined and as simple for our customers as possible. So this is why our I'd use an all-in-one at checkout plugin. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm just gonna quickly change the design so it's 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 not um, mandatory. This is just optional. So I'm gonna select um, a single column layout and then just save changes. Okay, so this is how our current um, our checkout field looks currently. Okay, so that's saved successfully. And when I refresh this page, we can see that only our billing details showing. Okay, so it's a lot more smoother and more streamlined um, user experience. We've also got the step option as well. So this is optional. I don't know if you notice in the back end here, um, I created some steps. So you can create multiple steps or you can remove the steps and then it will just be like a normal um, standard one page checkout. Okay, so this is method one. I'll show you method two now. So I'm gonna actually deactivate um, this plugin. So I'm gonna head back here and I'm just gonna deactivate this um, checkout fields. So just save changes. Okay, let's just double check everything's working as it should. Okay, that's fine. Um, so we've got our billing details and so on. Okay, and here's our shipping option. Okay, so this is a second method. So the second method is just navigate to WooCommerce. Um, go ahead and click on settings. Okay, then we'll navigate to shipping. Okay, and then we'll navigate to shipping options here. Okay, and then where it says shipping destination, um, here it says default um, a customer billing address. So we can actually force the shipping address to the customer billing address. So this is one method which you can use. So we can save changes. If I refresh this page, okay, as you can see, there isn't the option to enter in the shipping detail because we're forcing it to the billing detail. Okay, so that's method two. Now method three. So let's go ahead and leave it as it was. So we're just reverting the changes that we've just done. And now I'll show you method three. So method three is we'll navigate to settings. And with this method, we'll actually disable um, the shipping and the shipping um, calculation, which is typically on the cart page as well. Okay, so um, under general, we'll go ahead and select um, where it says shipping, sorry, shipping location. We'll go ahead and disable shipping and shipping calculation. Okay, so let's just save changes. And now when we refresh this page, it should just look like this, if I'm honest. There we go. So we've just got our billing details. And that's three different methods in how you can disable the shipping address in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.